A titration procedure can be used to find the concentration of an acid. We'll give you an example and work through the steps in the calculations. A 10 ml sample of sulfuric acid H2SO4 is titrated with 0.5 molar NaOH solution. A few drops of phenolphthalein indicator are added to the acid sample. Three separate trials are done. We're asked to find the concentration of H2SO4 in the original 10 ml sample. Here's a table showing the results of this titration. The initial reading of the burette is the level of the NaOH in the burette before the titration is performed. In trial 1, the NaOH starts out at the 0 milliliters mark. The final reading of the burette is the level of the NaOH in the burette when the equivalence point of the titration is reached. In trial 1, this is the point at which the NaOH solution reaches the 13.9 milliliter mark. Now we'll go back to the results of all three trials. The volume of NaOH used for each trial is calculated by subtracting the initial reading from the final reading. In trial 1, this is 13.9 milliliters minus 0 milliliters, which is 13.9 milliliters. In trial 2, the volume used is 27.1 milliliters minus 13.9 milliliters, which is 13.2 milliliters. And in trial 3, the volume used is 40.1 milliliters minus 27.1 milliliters, which comes out to 13.0 milliliters. Now we need to calculate the best average volume for the NaOH used. We can see that the value of 13.9 for trial 1 is considerably larger than the values of 13.2 and 13.0 for trials 2 and 3, respectively. When one value is considerably larger, or smaller than the other values, we discard it when calculating the best average. So discarding the value 13.9, we're left with 13.2 milliliters and 13.0 milliliters. The best average volume is the average of these two values, which is 13.2 milliliters plus 13.0 milliliters divided by 2, which is 13.1 milliliters. We'll divide this by 1,000 to convert it to 0 0.0131 liters of NaOH solution. We'll summarize the information we have in a single statement at the top. The volume of 0.5 molar NaOH needed to neutralize 10 milliliters of H2SO4 is 0 0.0131 liters. What we're asked to do is use this information to calculate the concentration of H2SO4 in the original 10 milliliter sample. Before we start the calculations for this titration, we need the balanced formula equation for the neutralization of H2SO4 by NaOH. We'll write the equation here. To start any type of titration calculation, the first question we ask ourselves is, which reactant do we have enough information to find the moles of? In this case, is it NaOH or H2SO4? We'll read the first sentence carefully. The volume of 0.5 molar NaOH needed to neutralize 10 milliliters of H2SO4 is 0 0.0131 liters. This tells us we know the concentration and the volume of the NaOH solution. Knowing both its concentration and volume enables us to find the moles of NaOH. The only thing we know about the H2SO4 solution at this point is the volume, so we do not have enough information to find the moles of H2SO4 yet. So we know that the reactant we can find the moles of is NaOH. So now we'll create a plan to do this problem. We have the concentration and the volume of NaOH, so we start with those and use them to calculate the moles of NaOH. We then use the coefficients in the balanced neutralization equation to calculate the moles of H2SO4. In the last step, we use the moles of H2SO4 and the volume of the solution to calculate the concentration of H2SO4 in the solution. The concentration of H2SO4 can be represented either as CH2SO4 or H2SO4 in square brackets. The first step in the calculation is to calculate the moles of NaOH. Moles is equal to concentration times volume. The concentration of NaOH is 0.5 molar or 0.5 moles per liter. We multiply that by the volume of NaOH, which is 0 0.0131 liters. 
The liters will cancel and the answer comes out to 0 0.00655 moles of NaOH. The next step is to calculate the moles of H2SO4 that were neutralized by 0 0.0065 moles of NaOH. To do this, we use the coefficient ratio in the balanced equation. To calculate moles of H2SO4, we take 0 0.00655 moles of NaOH times the coefficient ratio, 1 mole of H2SO4 over 2 moles of NaOH, which comes out to 0 0.003275 moles of H2SO4. We won't round to the correct number of significant figures until the end of the last calculation. The last step in our calculations is to calculate the concentration of H2SO4. We use the formula concentration of H2SO4 equals the moles of H2SO4 divided by the volume of H2SO4 in liters. So it's 0 0.003275 moles of H2SO4 divided by the volume 10 milliliters, which converts to 0 0.0100 liters of H2SO4. And the answer comes out to 0.328 molar. It's expressed to three significant figures to be consistent with the data given in the question. So the final answer is the concentration of H2SO4 in the original sample was 0.328 molar.